Hi friends, Patrick for VacuFlat, and today I'm gonna to show you how to vacuum pack your memory foam mattress using a VacuFlat mattress storage bag. First, I wanna thank you for purchasing a VacuFlat mattress storage bag from us. If you have any questions or issues, please feel free to email us at support at vacuflat.com. Before I get started, there are a few items I'm gonna be using to vacuum pack my mattress. Uh, first, of course, I'm, I have my queen size mattress that's sitting behind me and I'm going to be encasing it in a VacuFlat mattress storage bag. This is a queen size. And I'm going to use my household vacuum to vacuum pack it. Also, I'm going to be adding a couple of desiccant packets uh, to the VacuFlat bag before I seal it. Uh, this isn't a necessary step, but we highly recommend it if you're going to be storing uh, your mattress in a VacuFlat bag for any longer than about 24 hours. We really like the packets with the indicating beads. Uh, when these are fresh, uh, the beads inside are orange and as they become more saturated, they turn a dark green. And I also have plastic sheeting. Uh, once I get the uh, mattress uh, vacuum packed and rolled, uh, I'm going to cover it in this plastic sheeting. Uh, reason being is I want to ensure that uh, I don't puncture or damage the bag uh, while I'm handling it or while it's in transit. And I also uh, have a roll of packing tape. So once I get this rolled up, I wanna make sure that it stays in a nice tight roll and the packing tape is gonna help me do just that. And last but not least, uh, this is a little bit of a difficult job to do solo. So we definitely recommend snagging a friend uh, to help you uh, in the packing process. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Begin by taking the VacuFlat bag out of the package. Unzip the seal and encase your mattress in the VacuFlat bag. Take note that the zipper seal may be on the long side or the short side of the bag, regardless of mattress size. In this case, the zipper seal is on the short side of the bag. Add your desiccant packets to the bag before sealing it. We highly recommend this of storing a mattress in a VacuFlat bag for longer than 24 hours. Pull the zipper seal top from end to end and seal the bag with a provided plastic seal clip. If the seal is not kept completely taut while sealing, it's likely that one side of the seal will bunch, as shown below. This is easy to fix. Reopen the entire seal, pull the zipper seal completely taut from end to end, and reseal the bag. With the bag now sealed, ensure that the check valve is sitting on top of the mattress surface. Move the bag mattress underneath the valve if necessary. Next, vacuum the air out of the bag. Begin by first vacuuming from an opening in the seal. Reopen a small portion of the seal, stick your vacuum hose into the reopened seal, and place the hose against the mattress. Seal the bag as tightly as possible around the vacuum hose. It may help to grab around the bag and the hose with your hands as shown here. Turn on your vacuum. At this point, the bag will begin to shrink. If it does not, Check the seal and try again. Once the shrinking slows, remove the vacuum hose from the seal opening with the vacuum still on and quickly reseal the bag with a seal clip. Proceed to vacuum from the check valve on the bag. Open the plastic cap on the check valve and place the hose against the valve. While vacuuming, have a friend walk on the entire surface of the bag mattress to further compress it. When the mattress no longer shows signs of shrinking, turn off the vacuum, remove the hose from the valve, and replace the plastic cap on the valve. Take the plastic sheeting and place it underneath the bag mattress. Once the sheeting is underneath the mattress, begin rolling the mattress. Once the mattress is completely rolled, wrap the remainder of the plastic sheeting tightly around the mattress and tape the end down. Note that if you choose not to use plastic sheeting, we suggest taping bands all the way around the mattress. This will help to restrict expansion if the bag is accidentally damaged or punctured. One last thing, do not stand the packed mattress on end, as this can damage your mattress and may void your mattress warranty. 
Well, it was a little bit of work, but uh, we're finally done uh, vacuum packing our mattress. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions or issues, again, please feel free to contact us at support at vacuflat.com.